This is so weird. I'm not sat down in front of the camera for ages. Don't know what I'm doing with myself. And I forgot how much my spots come out on camera as well. I love how you can just see boxes in the background as well. Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to another video. It's been a while and I apologise. <laughs> um, there's a lot that I need to update you on that's happened and yeah, but I'm officially back, which is exciting because I've missed, I've missed filming videos. What is my hair doing? Yeah, I'm back and I apologise, I've been away for so long. How long has it actually been since I posted a video? Let's have a look. Oh my god, it's been four months, guys. Four months. That's too long. Four months and I've not missed my camera going out to focus on me. <laughs> but yeah, I've missed filming and uploading so, 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 so much. But I'm officially back and apologies if you can hear like a noise in the background. I'm currently sat on a blow chair because I don't have a sofa. Which brings me on to the first update. I've actually moved out of my parents' house and I'm in my own flat. Ooh, I've been here like a month now and I'm, well, nearly a month, I think. I can't remember what day I moved in. But yeah, I've moved out of my parents' house and I'm in my own flat. And I still don't have a sofa because they said it was going to take three months to get there. So I'm not going to get, basically, I'm probably not going to have a sofa until October time-ish. Which is fun. I was sat on deck chairs but we found a blow-up chair in Aldi. So I'm now sat on the blow-up chair. Which is so much more comfortable than the deck chairs, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, I've officially moved out, which is exciting. Um, which means I can act, I actually don't have an excuse to not film videos anymore because I have all the time to film videos now because I live by myself so I don't have to wait for particular times in the day to do it. Why am I talking so posh? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've moved out. I'm not even in Manchester anymore. <laughs> Um, so that's cool. Uh, I'm basically around the corner from my sister. So yeah, we still have each other and we're very, very close. I'm literally like a five minute walk to hers. So that's cool. And yeah, um, so that's the big, big update is that I've moved out of my parents' house. I've still got a lot to do. I do want to do a flat tour but it's not gonna be finished for a while. So the flat tour's probably not going to happen until I'm fully happy with it. Um, but yeah, if that's something you'd like to see, let me know down in the comments below. And that is something I can definitely do for you. So yeah, that is kind of exciting. Only one of my friends has visited yet because I'm just ashamed that I don't have anywhere for them to sit, not gonna lie. Um, but she was just like, I'm gonna stand for that. But yeah, I'll probably have more friends over. But yes, that's one of the reasons why I haven't vlogged so far, uh, videoed or vlogged or whatever, is because I've been moving out and I still have so much to do. It's unreal. Like, as you can probably see behind me, I still have boxes. Boxes that need to be unpacked. Like, it's never ending at the moment because I'm waiting for things to be delivered and stuff and with everything that's going on with corona it's taking a lot more time than it was but obviously we're kind of not in lockdown anymore we're kind of like well all restrictions have been lifted basically um but there's still like st some like stores still put things in procedures like the place i work we're still making sure that we keep a uh, two meter distance and we've still got the screens up at the tills for customers so there is still kind of restrictions in different companies and stuff like that. So hopefully the sofa arrives before it says because they said that obviously more staff are going to come back. So hopefully that's why that soon. And then I can start getting more furniture because I need to obviously I can't just buy all this furniture and then it all come and then I have no room for it. I need to be careful about these things because I don't want to get some like drawer unit for the living room. And then actually the sofa and chairs that I've got, I'm buying doesn't fit with the covers if that makes sense. So I just, I'm, yeah, I'm just being 
very particular, not going to lie. I've been very particular about the stuff that I've bought. And if you don't believe that, ask my sister and my mum. Like literally, they will tell you how fussy I've been with all this stuff, even like kitchen appliances and stuff. It's like my kitchen's got a certain theme, my bathroom's got a certain theme, the bedroom, not really there yet, so it doesn't have a theme. And the living room, as you can tell, I don't have a sofa, so the living room is officially not even been started yet. So yeah, that's fun. Um, so that's like the first update of what's been going on. And then, yeah, obviously, I think I said in my other video that I've got a new job. Um, so I've also been to and fro from there. And I also just wanted to say like, I've also had both of my COVID jabs, um, which actually weren't as bad as well as that setting, so I'm not. I am so not a needle person. I'm that person in school, I'm that girl that in your school fainted or threw up after a needle. I was that person, guys, literally. Like, I always give this example of what I'm like with stuff like that. And that is that a while back, my sister got braces put on and I was the person that threw up just by watching her get braces put on. So, like, if that doesn't tell you how bad I am with stuff like that, then I don't know what else to say. But I was completely fine. I did have some side effects, but I mean, I think everybody's had side effects. But I could always make like kind of back into a video if people wanted to through a bit nervous about getting their covid jab um i can always do like a little story time on how that went for me and kind of like go through what side effects i had and stuff like that because i feel like it's been made out to be worse than what it actually is and some people are a bit unsure whether they want to get it or not obviously i'm not against anybody that doesn't want it but this girl wants to travel and go to concerts so this girl decided to get her jabs. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's kind of like another little update is that I've had my COVID jabs, both of them, which is fun. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, I actually have an interesting thing to tell you. So I actually rescued, well, me and my sister actually rescued a hedgehog from my sister's back garden because it kind of just flopped in the daytime and you don't see hedgehogs out in the day, so that's when you know something's wrong. Um, she's called Buttons, she's officially a girl. She's been taken to a rescue center. I actually picked the hedgehog up with oven gloves on because I was scared of getting brick cold. And we put her in a box and with a blanket. And yeah, we took her to a rescue center. She was officially told that, we were officially told that she was a girl and we named her Buttons because that it's such a cute name, not gonna lie. Um, I say we named her, Tracy named her because it's from Tracy's back garden. Um, yeah, and it turns out she had roundworm, which is really, really bad for hedgehogs. Like they could die with roundworm. But as far as I'm aware, she's okay. She's getting there. Um, and hopefully if she makes it through and doesn't die, we can go and pick her back up and release her back into Tracy's back garden. So hopefully, if I remember, and she survives that long, I'll make a video of it, because that's just so exciting. And another bit of news is I went to my first concert, well, I say concert, it's like a festival, a little art in the park festival, um, to see Chasing Deer, and they brought along Ollie Hayes, and literally, I finally got to see music, guys, live music, but they were awesome. Um, and yeah, can't wait. I'm going on, we're going to, we're going Brighton again next, next month. I'm so excited. Hopefully nothing stops it. And I'll be vlogging that. We're going to see Luna Blue. Um, if anybody follows my vlogging channel, you'll know that we went to Brighton about 10 months ago. And we actually met up with Tom, Nick and Ryan and out of Luna, out of Luna Blue, Seb wasn't there. Um, and yeah, we met, we met them for the first time because yeah, they live, live around there. And we are going to be seeing them live in concert next month. 
finally we've not seen them live like sing live at all yet so that's going to be absolutely amazing i actually can't wait um so i'll be vlogging that and tom will probably get in the vlog again like he did last time and y'all don't know what else to say i feel like i just like blurted it all out because i was just so excited but i'm excited that things are getting back to kind of normality and um, we're just hoping that we don't get a winter lockdown because that will be very very bad but obviously if it has to happen it has to happen happen can't speak but yeah i'm so excited to be back finally and yeah i'm so sorry i've been away for so long and i definitely hopefully i don't want to promise anything because like obviously if something happens and i can't film then i can't film if that makes sense but I'm gonna try and not be as well. I'm gonna try and upload weekly again. That's my aim, anyways. My aim is to upload weekly. Oh, my hair's doing my heading because it's flicking in. Um, yeah, the aim is to upload weekly again. But yeah, I'm so excited to be back, guys. So anyway, I hope you're all okay. Let me know down in the comments. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited that I'm back. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm speaking like that, I'm just so excited, but yeah, peekaboo. <laughs> um, yeah, do I need to say anything else? I think that's everything. Yeah, anyway, let me know how you are in the comments below. If there's any certain videos you'd like me to do, give me a little suggestion down there in the comments. And yours. I think that's everything I need to say. I'm so excited that I'm back and I'm filming and I just get so giddy when I'm filming, I don't know why. Even though I'm just sat here talking to myself like, what is going on? Cause that is so American and that voice is it? <laughs> I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Um, but yeah. Anyway, if you watch this video, um, thank you so much. Please let me know if you're still interested in watching my videos down in the comment below because I hope I've not lost a lot of viewers because I've been away for so long. But yeah, I'm back officially. And I just want to say thank you so much for everybody that does watch my videos. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you do want me to do certain videos because I can always try them out if it takes my fancy. And yeah, thank you so much if you subscribe and watch the video. So yeah hit that thumbs up if you made it this far with me blabbering on because i think i've just repeated myself about 50 million times in different ways there but anyway yeah hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're happy that i'm back and also hit that subscribe button if you are new because yeah then you'll get notified oh there's a notification bell here wanting to hit that as well like you'll get notified when i upload videos and stuff like that and yeah so Thanks for watching and I shall see you in the next video definitely 100% soon. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.